Pigment Checker Standard, Pigment Checker Modern Art and an Indian Painted Object. Fabrizio UV Lamp will look at the UV fluorescence. We are all fascinated by these colors and we describe them as yellowish, uh, orange, orange color, pinkish color, but wouldn't it be better if we could describe them with a measure, fluorescence spectroscopy, does this job. We can do basic fluorescent spectroscopy using our gorgeous reflectance spectrometer and the new fluorescence kit. This kit comes included in all the new gorgeous purchases. If you already purchased gorgeous, you can buy it on our web store. In the fluorescence kit there are two probes. One probe is labeled this and the other probe is labeled IR, infrared. We do explore now the VIS probe. VIS means that uh, this uh, probe has a filter that allows only visible light. So about 400 nanometer, 700 nanometer. Okay, so we mount this uh, probe on uh, this adapter on the probe. With this uh, adapter we can measure the visible fluorescence of the pigments or other art materials. We turn off the lights, we turn on Fabrizio UV lamp. To do the measure we apply the probe close to the area we want to measure the fluorescence. So for example right here we have this orange color is a mother lake so we put the probe at about one centimeter from the um, pigment and then we go on the software of the computer and so we start to see the peak of mother lake okay now let's try another pigment for example zinc white that is over here on the top it is a yellowish color so we stay here with the probe at about one centimeter Okay, so we start the acquisition. You see now we are looking at the yellowish fluorescence of zinc white. Uh, let's try also the shellac over here in the calibration card. Okay, so we are doing five seconds. You see the peak is similar to that of Mother Lake, but now has another maximum toward the 600 and uh, 30 nanometer. We can now look also at the pigment check modern art and we can measure the fluorescence of Eosin Lake, this uh, strong yellowish color over here. Okay now we are looking at Eosin Lake that has this strong emission at 566 nanometer. So now with gorgeous reflectance spectrometer and this uh, fluorescence kit, we can have a measure of the fluorescence of the pigments and other art materials like binders, varnishes. And so we can tell much better what they are. So it's a very useful technique to start to do identification of these materials.